All right, uh, this might be one of my last videos for a while. Um, almost done with the project, got a few things to do. Uh, I gotta get the car aligned uh, pretty here shortly. You can see the alignment is really out of whack. Gotta get that done. Uh, I installed the front bumper with the front diffuser lip. Uh, I got these uh, J2 um, quick release, you know, because it's a pain in the ass to install or not install but take off this front bumper, especially if you're at the track. So it looks pretty nice. Uh, waiting for a fiberglass hood. Uh, I did an oil cooler earlier. You can see all the lines for it. Uh, my next modification is to have to replace the front. I don't know how well you can see down there. But I got to replace the front main seal. Where is it? And up behind the front main seal, there's a piece that broken off so I just have to replace that and put a new harmonic balancer on that thing wobbles so I think the stock rubber came out oh, what else uh, I painted inside yellow in the back gold I know it's not pretty but I I just painted it I did some rust painting on the bottom of the car I still have to get welded two spots here, one's there on the passenger and one's on the driver's side. Uh, took the stock uh, handbrake cables completely out and moved the hydraulic handbrake right in the middle. I want to move it a bit forward but I like it there, it's good for now, can't complain. Finally got my Momo hub on with my slim hub quick release that's all done with the NRG stuff got my uh, roll cage in bought this from Jegs it's not a bad roll cage it fits actually really nice from you know uh, 8 point roll cage from Jegs you know it fits really nice uh, the guy did a really good job welded it in so yeah, and it goes right down in there. So yeah, also install some gauges. I don't think the top one works good, but there is something. Give it a little extra lock. look. Uh, team Drift Couch, Team POS. Just a little stuff I install. Nothing really special. But yeah, move the battery to the back. I got a truck size yellow top in there that is meant for a semi truck. So it's pretty bad. It's pretty big ass battery. So yeah, we'll move around to the back here. I installed my wing overdrive. Check those guys out. You know. Install this big wing. Blame Canada. Thought that was kind of funny. Quebec. Quebec does blame Canada for everything, anyways. But that's another story. What else we got? Finally got my. Brakes installed in the back, cross drill. So, pretty good. Now, very happy. Hopefully, you can see it. I got the pan hand rod. Can't really see it. There it is. Custom pan hand rod by Mustang Restoration. Pretty badass for custom setup. Neo Motorsports Skylovers, yeah. So yeah, 
so far I talked for about five minutes of uselessness so yeah I moved the sway bar up cut cut a piece off and just stuck it up redrilled the hole so it's up there nice and firm so the back end is nice and stiff which is awesome I got a kill switch right here, so if anything happens, pop it. In. Oh, so yeah, so so nice little kill switch. As you saw this before, harness, NRG harnesses. So yeah, so that's it for now. Oh. I finally got the car to start on its own, so it starts on its own, no problem. The problem was this sensor. So I replaced that sensor, and it starts on its own. It's, sometimes it takes a bit longer, you know, cold start. But other than that, it's pretty good. So that's it for now. Hopefully you enjoy me flapping my gums. And that's it. Later.